The opening and closing of the Black Bayou Bridge is nothing out of the ordinary. Drivers wait while marine traffic floats on through. And in the early hours of Friday morning, things went from normal to bizarre in a matter of moments. And a witness tells state police that's when a vehicle pulled up to the entrance, allowing the passenger to get out of the vehicle and lift the arm up to allow the car through. And when the passenger got back into the vehicle, that's when the witness says the driver went full speed ahead towards the ramp. That guardrail was down for a, per for a reason, you know, and like I said, I'm not sure what they were thinking. And of course, we can't do what what's portrayed in the movies. State police confirmed 23-year-old Alejandro Casares and 32-year-old Roberto Alejandro Moreno were pronounced dead at the scene. Both the Calcasieu Parish Sheriff's Office and the Coast Guard performed the recovery efforts. But it was a few hours before they made, you know, recovery of the vehicle and also the, uh, the occupants of the vehicle. Residents in the area say they couldn't believe this happened. Uh, I guess they, uh, they felt like they were invincible, obviously. To think that you're invincible and you can do whatever and um, be okay through it all. I mean, that's um, a dangerous, dangerous mindset to go into any situation with, especially something like this. Randy Daigle says it's time for the community to pray. We need to send out prayer to them for their souls and for their family. At your service, Luke Birdsall, KPLC 7 News.